In Canada, there are three levels of police forces, municipal, provincial, and federal. Constitutionally, law enforcement is a provincial responsibility, and most urban areas have given the authority by the provinces to maintain their own police forces. All but three provinces, in turn, contract out their provincial law enforcement responsibilities to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, the National Police Force. Police officers maintain law and order and potentially risk their lives in order to do so. As a result, police officers have special legal powers to search, detain, and arrest suspected criminals. They may also use force in apprehending suspects, but the use of force must be reasonable. Police have specific duties and can be held accountable for their conduct. There are a variety of duties that police officers are responsible for, but the following are considered core services. Crime prevention, law enforcement, assistance to victims of crime, maintenance of public order, emergency response, and investigation of crime. The behavior or conduct of police officers is overseen in four main ways. Legislatively, that is, by the Police Services Act. Judicially, by courts and common law precedents. Administratively, by civilian commissions and police services board. And constitutionally, by the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Police services are guided by a number of principles. First, the need to ensure safety and security of people and their property. Second, importance of safeguarding fundamental rights guaranteed by the Charter of Rights and other human rights laws. Third, the need for cooperation between police and communities. Four, respecting victims of crime and their needs. Five, being sensitive about the diverse and multicultural nature of society. And six, ensuring that police represent communities they serve.